UW Medicine Regional Heart Center was part of this original trial over the last three years, and we've done 50 to 100 patients. There were two parts to the trial. One was a surgical part. In that particular patient population, those were people who were at higher risk for surgery. They, they could have surgery, but they had a higher risk of a complication or dying during surgery. What's been approved by the FDA is the other group of patients in that trial. These are patients who have no surgical option. Once you have a problem with this valve, it's a mechanical obstruction to, um, to blood flow. And so once you have this problem, there is no medical treatment for it. You either have surgery or you die of the disease. This procedure is um, essentially putting in a heart valve. It's actually just in putting a new valve in the place of the old valve. But what it does is replace the need for open heart surgery. It can either be done uh, from the leg or in some instances from the, through the chest wall, uh, but uh, does not require the standard operation to place the valve. So the patient's not put on cardiopulmonary bypass, for example, their heart's not stopped. It's actually beating while this is done. They are asleep, they are done under general anesthesia, uh, but once they wake up, they don't, have to they don't have to recover from a formal surgical operation. The current FDA approval uh, for the type of patient that's best suited for the procedure are patients who cannot have surgery, but are likely to live for at least a year um, after the valve has been placed. If they have terminal cancer or some other terminal disease in which the valve is not playing a major role, then this is not going to help that disease process. It's for patients who really have serious valve, valve problem with the aortic valve, um, who have a, a lot of other illnesses, but not so many illnesses that that would impact their, their longevity. That's the type of patient that we're looking for. And typically, it's an older patient. The average age was in the early 80s uh, in this trial. And so that's the patient population we're really looking at. So if you look at what happened to these patients who did not get, they were in the study, who did not get treated, in other words, they were treated medically. If you look at what happened to those patients, uh, their mortality rate was about twice as high as the patients who got the valve. So this definitely improves their outcome and, and the benefit. There are some risks, primarily um, a stroke being a big concern for the elderly patient population or for anyone for that matter. Making sure you have the appropriate patient is very, very important to make sure that your risks don't outweigh the benefits. Make sure that you screen these people uh, who are likely to have this procedure very carefully, their kidney function, their lung function. Because we do place these through the leg primarily, it's also important to make sure that the vessels in the legs are large enough for these devices to be placed. So if a patient is interested in this, then you just give us a call or go to our website. Um, the proper sequence of things would be for us to have a conversation uh, with the referring physician, uh, get that information that's already been uh, um, obtained on the patient to make sure the patient does or does not fit criteria for the procedure. In situations where, let's say, the patient is not good for the currently commercially available valve, we still have a research protocol that they might actually fit in as well.